Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button right now. Your participation is crucial in spreading God's word. Additionally, if this message touches your heart, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's move on to our reflection for today. Our theme is Finding Strength in Weakness, based on 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, where Paul recounts the Lord's words, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. This passage invites us to a revolutionary perspective on our weaknesses and limitations, challenging us to see God's power operating precisely where we feel most vulnerable. At first glance, the idea of finding strength in weakness may seem contradictory. After all, our culture often celebrates strength, self-sufficiency, and success. We're encouraged to hide our weaknesses, to overcome them at all costs. However, the message of the gospel offers us a radically different view. It invites us to embrace our weaknesses as opportunities to experience God's transforming power. But what does it really mean to find strength in weakness? It's not about glorifying weakness itself, nor about resigning ourselves to our limitations. On the contrary, it's recognizing that our ultimate strength doesn't come from ourselves, but from God. It's understanding that, paradoxically, it's when we acknowledge our insufficiency that we open ourselves to fully experience divine power in our lives. The Apostle Paul, the author of these words, was well acquainted with the experience of weakness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 28, he lists a series of trials and difficulties he faced in his ministry. Imprisonments, beatings, shipwrecks, dangers of all kinds. Moreover, he mentions a thorn in the flesh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, an unspecified affliction that tormented him. Paul prayed fervently for God to remove this weakness, but the divine response was surprising. My grace is sufficient for you. This response from God to Paul teaches us a valuable lesson. Sometimes, in our quest for strength and overcoming, we can lose sight of God's deeper purpose for our lives. The divine solution to our weaknesses isn't always to remove them, but to empower us to live victoriously through them. God's grace mentioned in this passage isn't just an abstract concept, but an active and powerful force in our lives. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, Paul explains, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. This same grace that saves us also sustains us in our daily weaknesses. Finding strength in weakness begins with the humility of recognizing our need for God. James chapter 4 verse 6 reminds us that God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. When we become aware of our limitations and vulnerabilities, we create space in our lives for God's power to manifest. It's important to understand that our weaknesses don't surprise God. He knows them intimately and yet loves us unconditionally. Psalm 103 verse 14 assures us, for he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. We don't need to pretend to be strong or perfect before God. He invites us to come to him exactly as we are, with all our imperfections and frailties. The biblical story is full of examples of people who found strength in God amid their weaknesses. Think of Moses who initially resisted God's call to lead the people of Israel, claiming he wasn't eloquent, as mentioned in Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. Yet God empowered him to become one of the greatest leaders in Israel's history. Or consider Gideon, who saw himself as the least in his family, but was used by God to deliver Israel from its enemies, as seen in Judges chapter 6, verse 15. These examples show us that God often chooses to work through those who feel weak or inadequate. Finding strength in weakness also means constantly depending on God, rather than relying on our own ability. 
Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 exhorts us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. When we learn to depend on God in our weaknesses, we discover an inexhaustible source of strength and wisdom. It's crucial to understand that finding strength in weakness doesn't mean passivity or resignation. On the contrary, it's an active posture of faith and trust in God. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Paul declares, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. This isn't a declaration of self-sufficiency, but of total dependence on God. It's recognizing that although we may be weak in ourselves, we are strong in Christ. Our weaknesses can also be a powerful testimony to God's grace. When people see God's power operating through our vulnerabilities, they are drawn to Him. Paul understood this well when he said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Our weaknesses become a showcase for God's glory. Finding strength in weakness also helps us develop empathy for others. When we experience our own struggles and limitations, we become more compassionate towards others' weaknesses. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, we are instructed, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Our own experiences of weakness enable us to minister more effectively to others in their struggles. It's important to remember that finding strength in weakness is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. It requires a daily renewal of our mind, as Paul exhorts us in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We need to constantly realign our thoughts with God's truth, rejecting the world's lies that tell us we must be strong and self-sufficient. Prayer plays a crucial role in finding strength in weakness. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, we are encouraged. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Through prayer, we access God's grace and power, allowing His strength to manifest in our weaknesses. Finding strength in weakness also involves a shift in our perspective on success and failure. The world may see weakness as failure, but in God's economy, our weaknesses become opportunities for His grace to shine. As Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 20, verse 26, Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. True success in God's kingdom often looks like weakness in the world's eyes. It's crucial to understand that finding strength in weakness doesn't mean we shouldn't seek growth or improvement. On the contrary, recognizing our weaknesses leads us to a deeper dependence on God, which in turn empowers us to grow and develop. As Peter encourages us in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, we should grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our weaknesses can also be a powerful antidote to pride. When we recognize our dependence on God, we are protected against the trap of self-sufficiency. Paul understood this well, as he explains in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. To keep me from becoming conceited because of these surpassingly great revelations, there was given me a thorn in my flesh. Our weaknesses keep us humble and dependent on God. Finding strength in weakness also teaches us to value the process, not just the outcome. Often, it's in the journey through our weaknesses that we experience the most significant growth. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 encourages us. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. It's important to remember that finding strength in weakness doesn't mean we won't experience frustration or discouragement. Even the Apostle Paul had moments of deep challenge, as he describes in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8. 
We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired of life itself. However, these experiences led him to a deeper trust in God. The faith community plays a vital role in helping us find strength in our weaknesses. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10 reminds us, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. When we share our struggles with other believers, we receive support, encouragement, and perspective. Finding strength in weakness also reminds us of Christ's sufficiency. In Colossians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10, Paul declares, For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and in Christ you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Our identity and worth are not based on our strength or achievements, but on our union with Christ. As we conclude our reflection on finding strength and weakness, remember that this is an ongoing journey of discovery and growth. Each new day brings fresh opportunities to experience God's power amid our weaknesses. As the verse in 2 Corinthians reminds us, God's grace is sufficient for us, and His power is made perfect in our weakness. Now let's delve deeper into some practical applications of this profound truth. 1. Embrace vulnerability. In our society, vulnerability is often seen as a weakness. However, being open about our struggles can create deep connections and provide opportunities for God's strength to shine. As Brene Brown, a renowned researcher on vulnerability says, vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity, and change. When we're vulnerable about our weaknesses, we create space for God to work in powerful ways. Two, reframe your perspective. Instead of viewing your weaknesses as obstacles, try to see them as opportunities. Each weakness is a chance to experience God's strength in a new way. This shift in perspective can transform your approach to challenges. For example, if public speaking is your weakness, see it as an opportunity to rely more fully on God's strength and guidance. Practice self-compassion. Often, we're our own harshest critics when it comes to our weaknesses. Learning to treat ourselves with the same compassion we'd offer a friend can be transformative. Remember, God's love for you isn't based on your performance or strength. As the psalmist reminds us in Psalm 103 verses 13 to 14, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. Cultivate a growth mindset. Psychologist Carol Dweck's research on mindset shows that people who believe their abilities can be developed, a growth mindset, are more resilient and successful than those who believe their abilities are fixed. Viewing your weaknesses through a growth mindset can help you see them as areas for potential growth rather than permanent limitations. Serve others. Paradoxically, serving others in our areas of weakness can be incredibly empowering. When we step out in faith to serve, despite feeling inadequate, we create space for God's power to work through us. This could mean volunteering in an area where you don't feel particularly skilled or sharing your story of struggle with someone facing similar challenges. Practice gratitude. Cultivating thankfulness, even for our weaknesses, can dramatically shift our perspective. Try keeping a gratitude journal noting daily how God's strength has been evident in your areas of weakness. This practice can help you become more aware of God's constant presence and power in your life. Engage in spiritual disciplines. Regular engagement in spiritual practices like prayer, Bible study, fasting, and worship can deepen your dependence on God and your awareness of His strength. These disciplines aren't about earning God's favor but about positioning ourselves to receive His grace and power more fully. Seek accountability. Find a trusted friend or mentor who can hold you accountable in your journey of finding strength in weakness. Regular check-ins with this person can provide encouragement, perspective, and support as you navigate your weaknesses. Celebrate small victories. 
In the process of finding strength and weakness, it's important to acknowledge and celebrate progress, no matter how small. Each time you choose to depend on God's strength rather than your own is a victory worth celebrating. Share your story. Your journey of finding strength and weakness can be a powerful encouragement to others. Consider sharing your experiences through writing, speaking, or one-on-one -on -one conversations. Your vulnerability could be the key to helping someone else embrace their own weaknesses and experience God's strength. Remember, finding strength in weakness is not about achieving perfection or eliminating all our weaknesses. It's about learning to depend more fully on God, allowing His strength to shine through our imperfections. As you continue on this journey, be patient with yourself and remember that God is patient with you. In our achievement-oriented culture, embracing weakness can feel counterintuitive. But as followers of Christ, we're called to a different standard. We're invited to boast in our weaknesses, knowing that it's in these very areas that God's power is most evident. This doesn't mean we don't strive for growth or excellence, but rather that we do so from a place of dependence on God rather than self-reliance. As you go about your week, I encourage you to pay attention to the areas where you feel weak or inadequate. Instead of trying to hide these weaknesses or overcome them in your own strength, bring them before God. Invite Him to demonstrate His power in these very areas. You might be surprised at how He works. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. As a community of believers, we're called to support and encourage one another. Share your struggles with trusted friends or your small group. Allow others to pray for you and speak truth into your life and be ready to do the same for others. Lastly, as we close our time together, I want to remind you once again of the importance of engaging with our channel. If this message has touched your heart, please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation not only encourages us, but also helps spread this message to more people who may need to hear it. And if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to receive more inspiring content like this. May God richly bless each one of you, revealing His power in new and profound ways in your weaknesses. Until the next video, remember, when you are weak, then you are strong in Christ. God bless.